What's going on guys, it's your boy Ethos here. Today I am bringing you a new video on the brand new agent in Valorant that has yet to come out and we don't even know what their, his name is yet, but we do know his code name, which is Bounty Hunter. Hey, what's going on guys, Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. Bounty Hunter is gonna be an initiator. He's gonna be an info-based initiator but also a little bit of a mix of like actual real initiation with kind of like stuns, near sights, and uh, being able to help his teammates take the site. I really feel like he's going to be really good for the meta in terms of adding variety. You're not going to see Sova have such a high pick rate anymore. And you can kind of rely on this very forward info gathering initiator that isn't Sova because Sky, KO, Breach are all leaning more towards the whole flash, stun, disable, molly, like that, that kind of stuff uh, to help initiate, which really like zones and helps your team get out and flush enemies out of positions or, you know, flash, flash your teammates in versus just the whole info thing which is nice because sova is picked on four maps which are like it's like a must pick on like four maps which is haven breeze ascent icebox bind even like it's gonna definitely be nice being able to mix up the meta a little bit and have another info initiator be competing neck and neck with sova so we love to see that anyways guys without further ado let's hop right into bounty hunters abilities so starting off we have prowler which is his first ability it's a c and this thing is going to be great for info and also you know it has this whole like near side thing also but it's going to be great for mid round you want to clear stuff re-clear lanes and whatnot to see if there's any lurkers or anything or even on on t side oh if you want to clear out like different bait cubbies or anything like or you know throw it into hell like on a on a scent on a you'll know if anyone's hell if it latches on anything or if you throw into wine you'll know if there's someone in wine it's a really great piece of util that lets you clear out all these angles which is kind of what a sky flash and all that kind of stuff is a lot harder to do a lot more annoying to do right you have to burn an entire flash trying to get in there anyways let's read right into the ability all right so i haven't done reading in a while man but let's, let's get right into it so for power it's 300 credits you get two of them you equip fire to send a creature out which will travel in a straight line looking for enemies and or trails and i'll get into what trails are in a little bit hold fire and move mouse to steer the creature in the direction you are facing when the creature finds a trail or enemy it will move toward them upon reaching the enemy it will start a 0.5 second cook time and then near sight the closest enemy for three seconds only one creature can latch onto a trail ever so as you can tell like you can use this to really re-clear get info towards any lane any any cubbies or whatever not only that though but if it does see someone it will near sight them and uh it, it'll be uh, really annoying for them to to, uh, deal with so you it'll also like zone them right so like if it latches onto someone holding a site and they get nearsighted they're now out of the game for uh three seconds which will give that kind of three seconds of wiggle room that window of time for your teammates to get out of the chokes and and get some space which is really good i think that's a really good ability it's almost like if it sees someone it's uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's guaranteed to hit but uh it, it really it really makes it so that like you know it's not just a sky flash you throw and you just hope that it's blinds where they're playing uh, or whatnot or a ko flash or whatever or you're stunning the jenny or whatever and hoping that this guy jenny like it, it'll actually move towards where they are so it also is great for info so you also know where they are playing if it sees them but also most importantly where they're not playing i think that's very important as well so yeah it's great you have two of them and it's going to be a lot easier to re-clear info as well like let's say you're on defense as well and like let's say playing like defense let's say ascent again right and let's say like they started defaulting a main they were there earlier in the round but then they went quiet you could throw it there to see if they're still there if they're gonna re-hit if they're lurking there or whatever which is really nice and you have to bring like a sova dart so i think it's really good that's really cool that you have two of them too anyways let's move on to the second ability which is a really initiating ability as well which is really nice and i think if you do hit someone with it it's going to be super overpowered but let's hop right into it the next ability is seize which is the q in place of the shock dart for sova for example it's 200 credits you only get one but you equip an orb fire to throw the orb the orb will travel in the air a max time of 1.5 seconds until dropping to the ground upon hitting the ground it will stick into place it will stick in place and begin to cook for 0.5 seconds after 0.5 seconds a zone will expand out to seven meters and all enemies caught will be tethered to the center tethered enemies suffer 75 decay damage are deafened and cannot skip the zone by normal means for five seconds can be reactivated and fly to drop earlier so i really think that this is a really good ability because if you actually hit someone with this they are out of the game like they they will not be able to do anything for five seconds they are tethered unless they have a chamber tp a jet dash your tp omen tp or whatever something like that they can't just walk out you know what i mean uh, maybe even raise satchel could help them get out but i'm not sure uh the 75 dk damage is absolutely huge they, that's literally half of their health uh maybe even more if they had light armor or if they had no armor they're deafened so they can't hear when you're running up to them and they can't skip the zone at all so if you hit someone there and you know that you hit them then it's 
it's going to be a free kill for you or, or you just know that they can't peek you at all which is really nice like you throw into heaven right like on ascent or whatever you throw into heaven on split on a like no one can run through that which is which is really cool i, I love that like that that's that's really nice and i think it's gonna be really good for taking sides for retaking and it's a great initiating ability and it kind of sets apart the other info counterpart solo where he doesn't really have this kind of zoning util like shocks or whatever he can do damage right but it's not going to really zone for a long period of time like a breach clear or like a nade or a ko molly you know what i mean uh, which is really cool moving on we have the signature ability the haunt which is really good as well you get this every round for free you equip an orb fire to throw the orb the orb will travel in the air max time of 1.5 seconds until dropping the ground once it's the ground it raises back up and turns into an eye that can be destroyed the eye sees opponents it will reveal them and apply a troll debuff that lasts 12 seconds can be reactivated in flight to drop the projectile earlier so just like sees um, with both of these you can can, you know reactivate it in flight to, so you don't have to throw it the full distance which is nice so it seems like there's going to be some flexibility i do actually want to see the ability in game the util in game to see the quality of life and how flexible it actually is and how easy it is to use on the fly in improvised situations and mid-round situations how flexible is it to really uh, use because it could, it could be really easy it could also be you know more on the difficult side and might not be something you want to be able to just like pull out at random times right so this whole idea like this is the replacement for the solo recon dart right it reveals people it can be broken but it does get a lot of info i think that's crazy that the eye whatever the eye sees just like a silver dart whatever the silver dart sees it will reveal and not only that it also adds a trail debuff so they're leaving trails now so think about this you throw the signature ability it reveals someone you know they have the trail debuff and now you know that they're revealing a trail so now you can just throw the prowlers and the prowlers are guaranteed to go to them because the prowler is going to see the trail eventually just throw the prowler in the direction that where they're first revealed or whatever it'll latch onto that trail and it'll follow them your teammates can also see them i'm assuming like it's probably just like footsteps like like footprints probably like leading to like where they were and where they they were going uh which is really cool because your teammates also know but then your prowler prowlers will also hunt them down too kind of like uh you know attack dogs so uh, really nice i think comboing that and then the prowler and then once the prowler figures out where they are again you can use the c's tether them like dude this combo util absolutely deadly absolutely annoying it's gonna be great for info but also really great for zoning and kind of pushing the enemy back and uh, helping with these side takes so i think he's gonna be really really strong moving on to the ult we have nightfall this ult is absolutely ridiculous so equip this ability fire to send on a wave of dark mist if the mist comes in contact with an enemy they will be trailed death and decayed for 12 seconds absolutely insane absolutely insane it's, it's gonna have the same kind of oppressive behavior as a ko in my opinion uh because the trail and the dk i don't know how much dk it is if it's 75 damage as well that's absolutely insane i think that's even better than just disabling their util entirely because now they're only two shots instead of four with the rifle they're also deaf so they can't hear you running up so they came and it's gonna be great for fakes as well because like if they get hit by that they don't even know if you're executing right you could be making no noise and they might be like oh they could be five men rushing i have no idea which is really insane i think it's really cool the whole trailed and decay thing is uh really good as well you could alt and then throw both your prowlers out and then throw your recon out and then throw your c's out to wherever the, uh you know an enemy gets spotted like dude what do you even do against that using that full kit like you can have a full exec with just your stuff which i think is absolutely broken Broken. but also on top of that the ult does seem like it's going to be seven charges seven ult points which i think is pretty fair pretty good you know that's definitely like definitely on the medium end um six being the lowest eight being the highest and seven being on the medium so i think that's good uh, i think this agent is going to be really really powerful guys it's going to be really powerful uh i think that about does it let me know what you guys think overall when you compare him to sova when you compare him to the other initiators is it going to be good is it going to be bad are you excited that sova is getting pushed out of the middle a little bit are you sad do you have all the lineups because another thing with this is that i feel like it's gonna be a lot more freehand less lineups all that stuff it's gonna be a lot more just freehand which is really nice because that's sova like if you wanted to play sova if you want to be a good sova you have to put in a good amount of time to at least get the most basic lineups and know the basic times with the darts and all that um which is you know a lot of memorization a lot a lot of labbing uh, but yeah again also with the trails i think this is kind of like what the trails look like is like you know these lines like kind of like footprints leading to like where they were and where they're going i'm assuming that's kind of what it is only kind of like tethers to them and just shows like oh uh, in which direction you can go for you just you know it's like following a rainbow follow the rainbow and you'll find the pot of gold and the pot of gold being you know the enemy anyways guys that about does it for the new agent bounty hunter again thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you all if you enjoyed the video make sure you like it if you didn't um you know comment down below let me know why you didn't like it but anyways guys thank you guys again so much for watching my name is ethos and i will see you guys next time